Welcome to the channel you guys, it's your boy Sneak T. Today you guys we are going to be checking out an interesting shoe, an Air Jordan 1 Low Golf in the Sport Royal Toe colorway. Let's check these out. Now, this drop came as a surprise to me, just kind of like a random drop that Nike and Jordan Marin did. I didn't really see info about these before the release, but I know what was funny is when I was recording my yellow toe video, the early review, look at those, you guys, I got a notification at the end of that video about these dropping, so I just went ahead and copped them. Ended up actually getting like 10% off too with Nike because it was my birthday month, September. So it was pretty cool. So we're gonna check these out. We do got our black box here with the gold traditional emblem. We have been seeing this box from Jordan Brand for a while now. There it is, size 10, you guys, in the Air Jordan 1 Low Golfs. Now size 10 is my true size. I highly recommend going true to size in the Air Jordan 1s. Air Jordan 1 Lows as well and Air Jordan 1 Low Golfs. They are all slightly different, but just about the same size fit. We do have that 23 on the paper and then we have this card that comes with our air jordan one low goss which is nike's warranty it's a one to two year warranty it uh, basically guarantees like shoes from water damage and if they deteriorate or anything like that so very nice to get these with a retail price of only 130 dollars compared to 200 and some other ones that are even more than that with no warranty so very nice Flipping the paper down, we do have a nice look at these and we'll switch the camera to get a better view. The colorway is white, black, and sport royal. Size 11 and a half in women. Flipping our lid up, we do have that 23 gold and speckled on the paper. Taking our shoes out, we do have this very nice colorway. Very clean colorway. Just like the black toe, shadow backboard colorway with the sport royal on the toe and then that sport royal on the back tab and then also on the outsole we do have that nice really bold vibrant sport royal with the nike emblem and the golf in the middle of the outsole very clean slight traction on these golf shoes if you guys have not had a golf shoe in hand make sure you check out my other videos because these golf shoes are highly wearable extremely comfortable and it's just as a rubber outsole with very minimal traction like this would be a nice good hiking shoe it does have some traction so you can see the slight ridges compared to a normal Jordan 1. Kind of see the difference when you compare it to like the Midnight Navies. Very subtle differences though on the traction. Not that much of a difference. Not that big of a deal in my opinion, especially when they're on feet. Here we get some Sport Royal laces if you want to switch it up. This would be pretty clean, but I, it feels me I'll probably keep the black going. Nothing else in our box. Maybe have a traditional sticker that we're used to seeing. Now we do have that nice white midsole, no sale, just white. White side panel with the black check and then that black coming around the toe on the mugguard. Sport Royal on the toe box. Simple leather, nothing too plush, nothing too crazy, but overall decent materials, black sock liner. And then we do have our wings logo on the back tab right here. Very clean, very clean. And then we have our blue insole. Got our side sticker in there with the Jumpman and the Golf. Flipping over our tongue, just a black nylon tongue. And then in there we do have our size tag, if you can get a glint at that. On the tongue, we have our Jordan logo and just golf written there. No Nike Air or anything like that, just the Jordan and the golf. I'm sure if these had Nike Air on the tongue, they'd probably be more popular. And if they were in a golf shoe as well, I'm pretty sure that deters people. But overall, this is a very clean colorway, highly wearable. And I would, man, if they drop this in a high top, these will go crazy. I think we really need to see these in a high top, hopefully in an OG high. And I think people will really rock with these a lot more. 
You can still get these for retail in some sizes too. They are still sitting. This wasn't like a sellout by any means. But uh, overall, a very clean colorway. Jordan 1 logo golfs are comfortable. So if you are looking for a comfortable wearable shoe, a nice colorway, if you like blue, you like this color blocking, which a lot of us do like, Jordan 1 fans. So I highly recommend to check these out. And the price point is very nice. You can probably even catch these for a discount. I might even find these at the outlet. These are a sleeper as well. Maybe over time the golf wheels will go up. We'll see. I know like the UNC's and the Chicago's are slowly starting to go up. Those might be closer to $300 in the next year or two, but let me know what you guys think of these. Would you rock an Air Jordan 1 low period? Are you into the Air Jordan 1 low golfs? Like I said, they are comfortable. They are wearable. Don't let this traction fool you. It is just a rubber outsole. It's not like a cleat or anything like that. Super wearable and from a distance, especially on foot, these will look super clean. You can style these really simple, you guys. So hope you guys enjoyed this look at the Air Jordan 1 low golf sport royal toe. Very clean. I hope Jordan Brand would drop these in a high top OG. I would be very, very excited for those. Subscribe to the channel for more videos. It's your boy Sneak T signing out. You guys stay positive and I'm out.